Hey guys, it's Erica. We're gonna be checking out. I it's pronounced Diamond. Uh, pre debut. This is pre debut stuff. Burn up. Um, yes, their debut date is currently unknown, but they're a boy group under SSQ Entertainment for formerly NV Entertainment. Uh, let's run through the members really quick. We got Min Jae. We have Seta. We have he. Just just he. Um, we have TX. We have. His role as producer? That's a role in a K-pop group? These, I'm, I mean, yeah, a lot of K- A lot of idols write their own music these days, or it's a lot more common these days, but the, I'm not, first time I think I've seen producer as your role in a group. Um, we have Rex, we have Joe, we, and that's it. That's it, all right. Makane got that Changmin hair. Um, so yeah, they, they are definitely serving, at least with the pictures, um, second gen first generation boy groups um hairstyles love to see it um but yeah i'm excited to be checking this out this is pre-debut um i mean the con their, their visual concept at least within the pictures is so strong um i don't know if this is going to be what their debut is going to be like um sometimes companies like to mix it up with concepts and debuts and everything like that um or it could be very similar i don't know these days it's we're in a new generation of k-pop don't know yet, um, but really excited to be checking out Diamond. So burn up, you know, would it let go? Okay, lighting. Okay, hair. Okay. Okay, CGI. Okay, visuals. Okay. Uh, start off very strong. They said we're not only bringing back. They're bringing back color as well. Okay, editing. Somebody had fun with the graphics. And the song's already very strong. Camera worked in overtime. What was that that just popped up? What is that? Okay. Are we getting this new wave of going back to like hip hop concept for debuts? Cause I'm a live. I'm a live. It's a third gen stand. I'm a live. Wait, did he just curse? Hey, it took me a minute to register because I like I was reading the subtitles and I read it. I was like, wait. Choreography go hard as well. Oh, they hit that hard. Ooh. Woo. Choreography go hard. They can move. Track go crazy. Vocals go crazy. Okay. Going for a big outro. Ooh, 
And they're coming in for the high fist. This is so fascinating. This, but I love it. 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 Okay, where do we begin? Where do we begin? I think the song is really great. Kind of again, like there's like when it was like the mo like. Okay, um, where where do we begin, girl? Where do we begin? Um, the song itself, like it's, I don't know, like it's very reminiscent of kind of like obviously second gen and third gen kind of like hip-hop like it's rem it's not exactly doing that concept it's a very um modern sound to it but it's very like there's not a whole lot of like there's a lot of like the sort of edgier boy group concepts like that but they don't necessarily debut with a very much more hip-hop driven sound that was much more of like a third generation boy group thing um so it's giving me flashbacks to that and i'm a third gen sense so i'm living um and i i got into k-pop in third generation 2015 elite um so it's getting like this sound it's very interesting and fascinating it's not that like other boy groups haven't done this type of thing before but it is executed a very different type of way i feel um but i like it i kind of like what they're doing and if the members themselves are have much more part into the production of it you know it's really really cool um but i think the song is great i feel like it's it's pre-debut i feel like it really shows off um a lot for them and this concept itself it's very interesting i do kind of hope they they stick with this concept because i'm living um for it sound visuals overall and again obviously with the styling there is kind of it's like it's 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 very much it's not like necessarily flashing back but you can definitely see the inspiration that's coming from um second gen am i am i thinking of first gen boy groups too as well um may, maybe or was it more second gen stuff um th during that first kind of second gen era or of things early second gen i guess i should say boy group um that's like like you definitely see the inspiration from it which i love i sort of it's, it's very interesting right because we had the retro era and it's sort of groups are throwing it back especially with the r&b back to sort of the 90s early 2000s era but they said no nah, girl we're going for the k-pop route um so i thought it was really dope i mean the styling was really cool i like it definitely makes him stand out not only the spiky hair moments um but really just like everything overall even the fits just like everything and they also did the same thing with the visuals they kind of threw it back to that era like when i look at the video i'm like like, I've definitely seen the clear inspiration for music video production from that era, which is kind of really cool. I like that. Like, I like what they did with it, but kind of, like, in, like, a modern way. Like, again, the inspiration from it, but not being an exact carbon copy of it. Uh, but definitely kind of seen that, especially with the visual effects and the, um camera angles and the sort of framing of them and even the sort of, like, deep, like, the color correction, like, the very colorized visuals like if it's like like it's if it's like a shot of them and the sun and it's a very orangey very red type of visuals i'm like that is so early 2000s that i live for it i don't know i've been kind of feeling like i'm going back to like um like i want to throw it back to the new millennium era but not in the fun cool y2k way no don't give me that don't give me that because i was playing Resident Evil 2 and Resident Evil 3 on my gaming channel and I'm just like I kind of want to consume more of that content so I'm like give me like the blades give me the cheesiness give me not that cool sleek sort of new millennium vibe nah kind of throw it back to like that type of concept and era so like I don't know personally I'm kind of like feeling like that's sort of the more content I want to consume so um as somebody born the year all that stuff was trending um so it's really really cool um, to see that and I feel like I, that's where I feel like my personal bias is kind of coming in for that and my sort of thing But I don't I don't know how the younger Gen Z's because I'm technically Gen Z how the youngins Feel about it because um, I'm like I lived through that. I saw that on my TV um, But yeah, but I think they have a really strong concept overall I think the production of the song was really fantastic and fun um, They were killing the choreography when they were serving the choreography the music video itself was really cool Camera was working overtime got really dope wise really cool stuff happening there with the visuals so I see the potential. I smell it. All right, and I th I'm a follow. Uh, whenever their debut is, 
Um, because they came out really, really strong with this one for this pre-debut stuff. And again, it may not translate into exactly what their, um, comeback, or their ex-comeback debut is gonna be. Um, do not know, but I do hope that they stick down this route because it's very unique. It's very different, and it is giving me, personally, life. Um, I, again, I don't know how the masses feel about it, but I know how I feel. And I'm gonna eat it up. But I sort of eat up everything, so I don't know if I'm the best person <laughs> to, to, um, uh, take, I don't know, their, their word for things. I don't know. Um, but I really enjoyed it. I, it was, yes. I'm gonna go watch Blade now. Go to your thoughts and comments down below to that bell. Uh, Demons Burnt Up. If you like this video, give this video a thumbs up. If you like to me and want to see more of my videos, go and hit that subscribe button. If you want to see my videos the second they come out, hit that notification button. If you want to follow me on social media, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, threads are in the description down below or at the end screen. If you like gaming content, I have a gaming channel. It's called Erica Just Games. Links in the description down below. Currently playing GTA 5, so if you can join me over there for that. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Love you, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.